what's good everybody welcome back to the call of duty video in this video i want to show you guys all the brand new bundles coming to season 3 reloaded of Bottle warfare 3 and if you haven't already make sure to drop a like on the video subscribe to the channel and let's go ahead and get right into it starting with the hue shift bundle looks like we got a holger blueprint i can't tell what that other gun is uh some emblems some stickers stuff like that it's pretty cool nothing too crazy it's only damn look at this one the don't bleak tracer pack this one's insane y'all know i haven't really been buying too many bundles but this one actually looks really cool doesn't look like an ultra skin or anything like that but uh, a brand new all seeing skin for swagger next we have the death by cuddle death by cuddle i don't know what that means it's like a octopus themed bundle oh the turbulence ultra skin this looks like another one of those like transformer skins looks like it's a, a helicopter transformer soldier which is pretty cool like a helicopter themed bundle tracer pack turbo drive a brand new operator skin also these blueprints have like neon green tracers which i guess that's pretty cool the next bundle is the tracer pack kinetic ultra skin we've got a brand new kinesis skin for bantam and the, uh, the camo on that blueprint also looks really cool but normally there's not like anything crazy it does i mean if it's animated it's gonna be a really cool blueprint although i think the blueprints for the ram 9 and then the Bruin, so I'm not sure. Y'all comment what you think in the comments below. The skin is really cool, though. Next, we got the Scarlet Storm. Looks like a, uh, a nice little... I, I want to call this the Shadow Dagger, because that's what it's called in CS. But it's called the Gladiator, the Ruby Shaw Blueprint uh, for the Gladiator Melee Weapon. Dude, look at this. The El Chupacabra Bundle. I guess that's a Chupacabra. I don't know what, the, what a Chupacabra is, but it's like a, a scary... A bat bundle. Next, we have the Echo Endo Vibrant Vixen Tracer Pack. It's like a, a futuristic fox themed bundle. Uh, the Shatter bundle for the Ram 7. We have the Fractured Lineage. It's like a, literally just like a broken glass bundle. Kind of looks like a rift. Uh, next, we have the Underworld Anubis Tracer Pack. This skin is actually insane. It's not an ultra skin, it's not reactive or anything like that. But I would assume uh, the blue streaks and stuff glow on the skin and the blueprints. So, probably look pretty cool in game. Oh, dude, a brand new party pack. The Wildlife Wanted Bite Me party pack. So, we get all four skins. You pay the 2400 uh, Then you get all four of these, like, crazy bat skins in all different colors, which is pretty cool. Oh, dude, there's another one. So, I actually like how they're doing these party packs now. Instead of it being, like, four separate bundles, it's one bundle. You get all the skins. Then, obviously, if you guys play together, you get the XP bonuses as well. With this one, we got the hair razor, just like a scary rabbit. <laughs> this one's funny. The, the press F bundle. We got a skin for Captain Price. He has Fs all over him. It's like a, like a keyboard... Uh, ghost skin. I don't even know how to describe it, but it's pretty cool. This bundle actually came out today. The Bronze Age new weapon. Uh, it's a pretty unique operator skin if you're into like collecting operator skin and stuff, but nothing too crazy. This one I think goes along with this whole like uh, th steampunk theme, but the Tracer Pack Clock Stopper. It's a brand new skin for Harangi, which it's actually pretty cool. It looks like, like a superhero skin, so I don't know. You guys can get a little bit of what you think in the comments below, but out of all the Operator skins you've seen so far, uh, this one's definitely one of my favorites. We actually saw this skin in the blog post. This is the Cataclysm skin for Duck. It's kind of like a Borderlands pack. It's not actually Borderlands, but the skin looks like it's out of Borderlands. It's cell shaded and stuff like that. I don't think the blueprint is cell shaded though. It doesn't really look like it. I, I feel like... It would look like that one bundle with the MC, like the colorful MCW bundle. That also was kind of like this skin, but it doesn't look like the blueprint is like that. So we'll just have to see what it looks like in game. Uh, this is a brand new skin for the COD Endowment, the Night Recon Tracer Pack. It'll probably be a real money bundle, but all the money goes towards the COD Endowment, which is pretty cool. The next pro pack, the Tracer Pack Trash Talk 2.0. This will also be real money. It'll probably be $20. Uh, you get all these different skins and rewards, and then also you get $2,400. 400 cop points as well so if you're already buying 2400 cop points uh, you might as well just get the pro packs next we have the tracer pack 
and Nemon Anemone. Oh, it's an Anemone, dude. The only reason I know that is from finding Nemo. Oh my god. We have the Queen Abyss Striker Blueprint, which looks pretty cool. It kind of looks like a Mastercraft, but I know it's not. Next, we have the Arctic Ops Party Pack for Ghost and Soap. I know a lot of people are actually looking forward to this bundle. It's pretty cool that it's a party pack, so you can, like, get multiple skins. Oh, there's two different Arctic Ops Party Packs. So, Ghost and Soap in one, and then Price and Farah in the other one, which, I, I don't know. I, I think that's pretty cool. Oh, man, I am so excited about this one, though. It's $30, a little bit expensive. I feel like... I would have rather it been, uh, I don't know, man. I, I wish you had the option just to buy one of the skins and not have to pay the 30 bones. But the Wubs and Friends, it's like a brand new Teletubbies pack. Obviously, you get blueprints and stuff like that. Uh, looks like the TAC and the SVA. But, dude, look at the skins, man. They're crazy. Then, obviously, you get all four skins. And, again, uh, it's a party pack. So, if you play together and stuff like that, you'll get more bonus XP. Next, we have the Connie Eclipse, which is just like... A Connie Dean bundle, the Fido Fighter Tracer Pack, the brand new Jellyfish Ultra skin. Feel like this one's definitely gonna glow and be animated in game, but we'll have to see. Obviously, these are just images, so we don't exactly know. Uh, next, we have the Evolved bundle with a Holger, the Phases of Grief, which actually looks really cool. And here we go, another NBA bundle. We have the D Book was here Tracer Pack. With the, like the Phoenix Suns themed blueprints, a uh, brand new finisher which actually features his in real life dog. Then obviously Devin Booker as an operator in Mod Hover 3, which is kind of crazy. And to end it off, we have some brand new blueprints. All of these bundles are like really cheap, and it just features some stickers, weapon charms, and then like uh, just one blueprint for certain weapons in the game. So this one's five bucks, five bucks, eight bucks, five bucks. As you guys could see, most of these bundles are actually pretty cheap. But, like, the blueprints aren't really anything too crazy. Look, look at this. It's like an ice cream camel, man. Anyways, it's pretty much going to do it. That's all the bundles we know of coming to Season 3 Reloaded. Go ahead. Let me know in the comments below which one you're looking for to the most. I think most of these skins are pretty cool. Again, I say this every season. I just wish we had some crazy Mastercrafts. I wish they would start doing weapons like they did in Cold War and weapons that we actually use in the game. Like, if they're going to have guns that are, you know, meta and the best guns out of everything else, we need some cool blueprints for these weapons. But regardless, let me know what y'all think in the comments below. Drop a like, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And I'll see y'all soon for the Call of Duty video, man.